just the, uh, the defensive responsibility you're getting down the stretch. How does that feel to be guarding a primary ball handler down in key situations like that? I mean, um, I don't, I don't think of anything. I don't think anything of it. I just think it's the advantage we have as a team. Um, a lot of versatile defenders being able to guard multiple positions. I don't think I was the only one that was um, guarding the primary defender um, down the stretch um, of the game. I think um, it was just we were in scramble mode, and it was just whoever was closest to the to the ball just took you know picked the ball up. I think a few times I did, Scotty did, Chris did, um, Gary did. So it was just you know being able to um, be versatile defensively. How do you think things got away from you guys in the third quarter then? Um, I mean, we all watched the game. It was just, I don't think, um, I don't think um, we were given an opportunity in that third quarter. Um, I think a lot of opportunities were taken away from us. And um, and I'm just happy the way we, uh, we responded to that. You know, with um, Coach getting kicked out the game and, and all the other things that happened before. Um, I'm just more excited that you know we we're, we're responded to everything that happened in the third quarter, and you know we'll give our ch ourselves a chance. How much did that play into it, uh, Coach getting kicked out like that? Getting into yeah. your response from getting back in the game? Yeah, of course. Uh, I mean, at that point we knew what, we know what it was. Even before that, we we're kind of like, okay, we know we see how the game is going. Everyone in the arena saw the way the game was being, you know, the way the, the game was going and whatnot. Um, and we just knew we just had to grind that one out. Um, I don't think, I think a lot of opportunities were taken away from us on both sides of the floor. And, you know, um, we were just, we had to do whatever we had to do to, I mean, to put ourselves back in the game. I think at some point we were down 17 or 20, something like that. We just, you know, fought back. Um, and I think we did a great job fighting back, and we just got to keep playing with the same intensity every game, start every game with the same intensity that we ended today's game with. In regards to that comeback, um, how much did, did the crowd's energy, the atmosphere, kind of lift your guys' spirits? Um, I think it was big. I, um, it was huge um, being able to have fans back in the arena. Um, I think it was really, really um, big. Um, just we were able to fit off the energy, um, the chairs, the bulls, whatever you know, the case is. We were just able to feed, you know, off of that, and that just, you know, kept us going. You've always played with a lot of confidence offensively, but you seem more composed the last month or so. Why do you think that is? Um, just getting in my rhythm. I think um, I'm starting to find my, you know, my rhythm offensively. Um, and right now I'm just, you know, in a good space um, and just taking the shots, just uh, just taking the shots that, you know, presented to me. And um, like I said, I'm in rhythm and I feel I feel good offensively and I'm just playing, you know, within the floor of the game. Have you taken free throws in a situation like that before, <laughs> you know, that final minute? Yes, I have a lot. Um, I've taken a lot of free throws like that um, in my career, um, last minute, last free throw, whatever. but. Um, <clears throat> I mean, the plan was to make the first one, miss the second one, which I did. We just didn't come up with the rebound. So, I mean, it was just a, it wasn't no guarantee we were going to come up with the rebound. It was just more of a, you know, a chance that we could have given ourselves if we came up with the rebound. Uh, one question for you online, uh, Precious. Go ahead, Oren. Hey, Precious. Uh, I wanted to ask about your new teammate, Thad Young. Uh, what has he brought to the locker room, and what kind of insight has he shared with you as, as a veteran who's been in this league for a while? I mean, um, I remember it was it was the game against Minnesota. Um, after the game, I came in the locker room, and I went up to him. I said, hey, you don't understand you know, how much um, – I've learned from you in the past in just, what, three days he's been here. And I told him that I don't think he understand. He understood why I said that to him. And just being able to watch someone, you know, that understands the game, been in the league for a while. Um, I'm very observant of people, and I learn a lot, you know, just by watching. Um, and I was just, you know, watching the way I've known, you know, <laughs> watched um, that, um, but just up close, 
and the things he was saying, and I'll go to him like, hey, what do you see? You know, what, what do you think could have happened there, or what should we have done? And he would always, you know, always willing to like, you know, share um, whatever he sees or what he thinks, and just having that veteran leadership in the locker room in the game is is important, and I've learned a lot from him personally.